there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and uh, I enjoy playing on my Commodore 64 but one of the issues that I have is that I don't have an SD emulator, one of those nifty little gadgets um, you've seen videos before on some of the other YouTubers, I'm thinking of the Highlander who's done a couple of videos loading games via the SD card and it makes life so much easier, I mean they're pretty pricey on eBay and especially with our current conversion rates for the South African Rand it's, it's pretty expensive so I actually did a little bit of browsing and I actually came up with another solution. So instead of using a SD emulator, there's actually a, a guy that actually produces, uh, you can actually buy the full product or you can buy it in kit form, which is what I've I opted for. And that's an emulator for the actual cassette player. So yeah, you can see I've actually got the uh, schematics over here. And I've actually purchased it as a uh, kit form, which should be great fun, so that I can actually assemble it myself. It works out pretty cheaper as well. And uh, so, yeah, you can actually see, I'll go through all the different, um, this is the PCB for it. I've got all the little components over here. So join me as I assemble it. And uh, while I actually test this little product, and it's called the DIY Kit U Cassette for the Commodore 64 and 128, which will allow me then to load my games via this as if it was actually loading from cassette, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Because I've got quite a vast library of Commodore 64 games and uh, yeah, it should be good fun. So stick around guys. Okay, I've laid everything out that's arrived and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video to the actual um, site so that if you want to purchase one yourself, you can do so. It comes with a, a DVD which has obviously got the software on it so that I can actually, uh, once I've assembled it, I can actually make use of it and load my games via PC. And you can see it's got a simple listing over here. It's got the PCB. Just hold it a little bit closer. You can see it's actually double sided, uh, not quite, yeah, double sided. PCB there, got the little copyright there for the for the U cassette on there, and a listing with all the components. What's nice is it actually gives the um, what each component's um, values are. So if you never need to replace one, I'll just keep this safely somewhere. And it also gives a nice little do-it-yourself steps for soldering of the components so it tells you you know first solder the resistors then socket the integrated circuit um, then do the switches and then do J2 then the capacitors then the LED then push the button the push button and then the J1 so I'm gonna follow that same sequence and uh, hopefully my soldering skills are not too rusty they've never been that wonderful to start with and uh, then once we've completed soldering it we'll put it together and actually test it. Okay, I've laid out the resistors in the actual order, so resistor 1, resistor uh, 2, which is actually two of them, 3, 4 and 5, which I'm now going to bend and actually place into the board. What's nice on the board, you can actually see there that they've actually, let me just grab something here to point with there, they've actually marked it resistor 1, resistor 5, resistor 6. So, very simple, so let me bend them and get them ready to solder. Okay, you can see that I've gone and placed all the resistors in their right little spots and I'm going to turn it around now and solder. Okay, I've finished uh, soldering in the uh, resistors now. You can see they're in their place. They're not 100% perfect, as you can see. But uh, I can always just straighten that out later if I want to. Okay, now we've got the little J2 socket you know, to put in. I'm just putting it, holding it firmly in with my finger behind it. And then I'll just, it looks like it's the ground one. I'll just go and quickly just tap that 
and then when that one's holding then I can uh, do the others there we are, so that one's now held firm and then it just makes it easier for the others as it now won't move around I can put that back in there and put some light on it Okay, I now need to install the little LED light and it has a positive and a negative on it and the easiest way for me to determine which is the positive leg and the negative leg one is slightly longer than the other so the longer leg is the positive leg so I can put it into the uh, circuit the right way and the board's marked there with a the positive so the longer leg, let's stick it in there and it's in. And I don't want the LED to be too far in, so I'll just bend one of the legs so that I can mark the spot for where I want to actually solder it. Okay, I've put the capacitors in. One, two, three of them in and uh, now I'm going to put the little switch in which goes in over here and there, make sure it's nice and flush and then I can solder it in So we're ready for the final step and that's just putting on the switch connector. Okay, so I've finished soldering this on, the connector. Now I'm not 100% sure if the, the top layer of connectors was supposed to be soldered onto the actual board or if I was supposed to solder the bottom layer on top here and then leave it. But anyway, I'll just test it and see how it goes. So the last thing to do now is actually to just to put the little IC into the socket and also once again it's got a little U shape there at the top there that just indicates to you which side and how it must go in. I just want to make sure that the little legs, nothing gets bent, funny angles and there, now it's seated 100%. And it's time to test it. It didn't, doesn't look too bad. As you said, look, uh, you can see up exposed. Those are exposed there. I'm not sure if it even makes any difference. It's just easier to solder that top layer. But we'll see. Okay, we're ready to test it now, guys. So you can see here, yeah, I've got my 64C out. Um, and I've hooked it up. And I'm ready to switch it on. I've actually put the tape cassette emulator here in the back. From there I've hooked up the headphone jack through to my computer and I've got a WAV file ready to load. I'm just going to load any game at random. So first of all I'm going to be switching the machine on and then you'll be able to see what it actually Immediately you would have seen a green so. little light flicker there and the system comes on. So I want to load a game now. I've got my joystick in so if memory serves me correct. Run, stop and shift together says press play on the tape now on my PC I'm just going across to ooh, it's a skip yeah I'm just gonna load game at random random let's see what should I load what should I load something something yes why not Ghostbusters now the important thing is when you hit according to the manual now that I was reading through in order to go past the brakes you've got to hit the Commodore key here so I'm going to run it, okay, now it should be running, it should find it, and it should be loading now at the moment, there it's loading, 
and I hit the Commodore key and I was too late. So let's try that again. Switch the machine on. Green light flash there again. There I'm back into my hit ready to there and this time I must just be a little bit faster. And let's go into and I'll hit play. And I caught it in time that time. Super! So now the game is actually loading up. Okay, that must be the loading screen that we're going through. Quite a strange pattern that it's giving there. Okay, now it says press fire on stick in port 2, space to toggle sp okay. Ah, okay, this is quite novel. So I can play Space Invaders while I actually wait for Ghostbusters to load. <laughs> okay, I've never come across that before. Invader load. That's quite novel. Certainly will make loading a little bit faster. Pass the time away. Not doing too well. Dead. Let's have another game while I wait. Can't resist. Well, it's got about 20 seconds left. And the green little LED is still on. Doesn't seem to load it any faster. <laughs> so that's obviously one of the downsides of using this emulator, not a SD emulator, which is almost instantaneous. Well, it's got about 10 seconds left. Oh, uh, there we are. Ghostbusters! So we're into Ghostbusters. So guys, you can see, it works pretty well. I've got Ghostbusters up in here. Uh, I mean, just listen to that. Can you put the volume up? Now, that was the envy of all Spectrum owners back in the day. Listening to that Ghostbusters. Now we're going into the game. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so it seems to work pretty well. It was actually a very easy little project in order to put together. Nothing really difficult about it. And it does give you the option to load your MP3s or your 
TAF uh, or whatever format you may have your games in and there's millions of them to download and it works pretty well and I'm going to give it a bash so I'm going to play a little bit of Ghostbusters so yeah cheers from me guys